The dogs are dressed up, the people are dressed up. It's a really adorable first Mardi Gras parade for them. What do you think, Lena? Good. I like a bear. You get in my belly. <laughs> <laughs> Mama's enjoying her beignet. Such Do you like your beignet too? Why not? I told you you'd like oh, it. Oh. Is that, is the mouth? Lolo. Mm. Lolo, you like your beignet? Try it. Okay. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> the reason why we came to New Orleans is so we could attend the Dad 2.0 Summit Conference and speak here about living full time. It was such an honor to be asked to speak here and we included Ben and Becca of the Family Fulfillment Project on our panel. We're going to talk about living full time on the road in an RV and then just like I'm sure we're just going to answer a ton of questions. I think. Yeah, because it's glamorous. Yeah. It's the most glamorous life you could possibly live. Everyone wants to live in an RV. <laughs> With four kids, obviously. Yeah, Becca and Ben are so similar to us. They have four kids, like, similar age as ours, and they are also just, I feel like their why is very similar to ours. So if you like us, you should follow them as well on YouTube. So vice versa. So we're about to head in and talk about it. Um, but we just, I love coming to this conference every year because it's just such a great place for parent influencers to connect. This was such a special year because I got to bring Scott, and um, he's getting to connect with dads one-on-one. -on -one. So that is why we came to New Orleans. And now we are getting ready to go speak on our panel, so wish us luck. We forgot Happy Loud Life business cards for the Dad 2.0 Summit, but luckily I had already ordered all of these Happy Loud Life pencils, so we kind of use those as our business card. Not the most professional, but it's what we had. But I originally ordered these so that our kids would have something to give to other kids or people in the park. Um, to kind of, you know, give them sort of like a version of their business card if people wanted to follow us online. So if you run into us anywhere and you want a pencil, let us know. We've got about 700 to spare. All right, how did you think Dad 2.0 went? I think it went pretty good. I enjoyed myself a lot. Um, they had a lot of great material and um, I think uh, our presentation for our, uh, our portion was went pretty well. I felt like we were spreading the good word about RV living, people seem to have a lot of questions, and I thought it was pretty cool because I think a lot of people felt like maybe they couldn't do it, and yeah. um, we were like, no, if we could do it, you could do it. Yeah, I think so. I mean, uh, a few people seem really inspired, and, and they seem like they might be on the verge of doing the exact same thing we were doing. The kids are in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no kids this time. All right, we just had a great dinner with only adult conversation. It was so needed. We paid for babysitters at our hotel and took ourselves out to a really nice dinner at Sylvain. Is that what it was called? Yeah. We probably should have taken a video of our food, but it was a little dark. Um, we are getting out on the what? town. <laughs> oh, yeah, Scott's pointing out potholes. We are getting out on the town in New Orleans. And uh, this is the first time we've had dinner without the kids in probably, I don't know, two months. or three months. Yeah. Months. So, babysitter expense was well worth it. We had wonderful adult conversation. We're the adults. <laughs> Highly recommend. So, a perk of. Oh, guys, I'm recording. A perk of staying. Um, a perk of coming to the Dad 2.0 conference was that we got a really great rate at the Ritz. And we've never brought our whole family to the Ritz before, but it was something that we budgeted before we took off on the trip. So we're all here in this beautiful corner room at the Ritz, and it's so nice. And so I kind of feel like, let's just stay here and order New Orleans food in. So we had 
po' boy delivery and we are watching Naked and Afraid and having really interesting conversations about what we would do if we were on Naked and Afraid. And we are taking advantage of endless hot water and everybody's getting a bath. Hey buddy. Everybody's getting a shower and I think I might actually pour a bubble bath later and get in with a glass of wine because when at the Ritz, you gotta do something like that. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of our Happy Love Life show here on Baby League. We would love if you would comment and like this video and subscribe for sure so you don't miss our next episode and everyone after that. Thanks guys, see you again soon. Thank you.